I've also gotten plans for a homemade fuel cell that you can build that converts water into hydrogen gas that you can use to run your car. Grant's hydrogen fuel cell is all about electrolysis. When you apply a voltage to electrodes in water, the H2O molecules split into hydrogen and oxygen. This internet patent can allegedly generate so much hydrogen that you can run a car with it. Adam's going to build the electrolysis device as detailed in the internet plans. That right there is the business end of the end of the oil monopoly, man! While Grant is concentrating on the power, it's the current through the electrodes that should cause hydrogen to be released. This should be a square wave, and right now it's kind of a nasty saw tooth. After an hour of fernickety fiddling, Adam's fuel cell is connected to Grant's power circuit, and everything's ready for a test. Dude, I see bubbles. Check it out. Yeah, <laughs> it is bubbling. It's working. Hydrogen is uh, bursting forth. But will these tiny bubbles be enough to fuel a car? doesn't work. I can't believe it doesn't work. I found it on the internet, man. But to test whether a car could even run on hydrogen in the first place, the boys are going to hose some directly into the carburetor. Ready? Yeah, okay, right. here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I guess you could, if you had a lot of hydrogen, run your engine completely without any other modifications. Let's do it again. <laughs> you know there's going to be trouble when it's all going so well. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that test. <laughs> With a rather nasty backfire, it's time to back out. I think it's best if we just let it go. 